Hello Collective, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies in intend immediately and permanently. I call in only the periods of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay? Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you, being returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled as we speak. All bondages are removed, all chains are broken, and all spell work, rituals, negative energies, negative intent, past, present, and future all, are all dismantled permanently. As I have said, and so shall it be. Okay, our tea leaf, our tea leaf oracle card of the day is the kite. Okay, um, you know, you may have some goals that people maybe don't quite understand, um, especially if you are someone in creativity, spiritualities, and things like that. We tend to see life from a different perspective than the rest of the population. Um, and sometimes it takes them a while to catch on to what we are doing. But I feel like that that statement can be applicable to a lot of situations, especially when you have dreams of accomplishing certain things. People won't always see what it is that you are intending to create or what you're moving towards. Okay. Top of that with the fact that you're putting spirituality in there for some of you people are rarely ever <clears throat> going to see uh what it is you are working towards and if you god forbid come across people that are spiteful very vengeful and don't understand uh their front from their back if you know what i mean what i mean they will try to dis discourage you destroy what you're building destroy the life you're building destroy your dreams block you from being able to create your dreams and things like that. Do not let anyone do that. Be mindful or just be watchful of people trying to create scandals in your life just to kind of deter you off of your path. Stay to your path. Stick to your path. Whatever path you are on and you feel fulfilled in it, you stick to it. Okay? There's a little bit about mind stuff. There are people trying to... uh. uh Take my platform down, trying to log me out of my platform, trying to delete my content. People have been doing a whole lot. But you see, I get on here every day and still post. Uh, some days I post four times, some days I post twice, some days I post once. But I make sure I post on here. Okay? That's the energy you got to be in. Never mind what people think. Never mind what people feel. It has nothing to do with them. You have an agreement between you and God. And as long as you are fulfilling your end of the bargain with God, God is going to fulfill its part. Okay? So people don't need to understand what it is you're trying to do with your life. People don't need to understand why you believe in the things you believe in. People don't need to understand why you stand for the things you stand for, where you're going, what your boundaries are, things that they don't need to. It has nothing to do with them. Those are lost people. And until they find themselves or try to put in the work to work to uh, find themselves, they'll never understand that. So they will always be on a mission to destroy themselves, thinking that they're, they're actually destroying you. That's not how that works. OK, so let's go ahead and get into our read. Uh, let's see what in the name of source is going on. You could have a masculine energy here, a king of source. OK, maybe causing some type of. Uh, manipulation blockages and things like that or someone may be having a hard time seeing the truth about a situation okay or about a person someone has been being blinded or someone is being blinded something like that okay um i don't know if he was with someone who was using him for money or someone who just maybe he chose to see in a sp specific light you know sometimes when men meet certain women they present themselves in a certain light and these men, they go gaga gigi over them, okay, because they're either pretty or they have some type of innocent uh, energy about themselves, not realizing that this woman has uh, learned how to fake 
this energy here in order to get around someone like him. And this is what this man could be going through. There's also a um, king of swords behind the scenes that's causing some type of manipulation, some type of stalemate. There's something where a man wants to connect with a woman genuinely, but there's someone interfering with this connection. There's either, there's a masculine interfering with the connection and there's a woman as well. It's almost as though they are tag teaming from different sides. Okay. There could be a group that's tag teaming as well. The family of the masculine, um, the family of the exes. It's like, uh, uh, uh um, Enemies getting together because they have one goal to prevent two people from coming together and to prevent someone from receiving something. They're all working together to block this from taking place. Okay. Uh, so someone could be taking action to cause some type of stalemate for you. Or, you know, this is what they did to block your wealth, but you're still in the clay. You still have victory going on coming for you. Whatever they were trying to do. It's not working, okay? They were trying to cause you heartbreak, cause you some type of stagnation, uh, uh, keep you in some type of restriction or something like that, put some type of restriction in your life, and it's not happening. Like someone wanted to hold on to what belongs to another person, basically. So whether it was you receiving some type of love offer from someone they used to deal with, or whether it was you prospering, like you have a business that was supposed to be taken off, things like that. The people have been doing things behind the scenes to block you. Communications and things like that. All kinds of nonsense is just going on. And this is a lot of people going through this, okay? The sad part is a lot of the times when you actually see the people that are taking action against you, oftentimes it's your own kind, folks. It's your own kind. People that look just like you, color, everything. It's your own kind, all right? So sometimes these things are going on and what's it all? It's the platform. In, uh, uh, if you're a content creator like myself, it's not, the, it's not the platform. I already know it's not the platform doing my stuff. For some of you, you'll, you'll, you'll assume, oh, it's, you know, another race doing it. No, it's your own kind. Your mom, your daddy, your brothers, your sisters, people that look just like you, your coworkers that look just like you. They're the ones doing it to you, okay? So someone has been causing some type of uh, stalemate, some type of illusion about you, about a feminine energy, okay, to another masculine or to a community. Yeah, he's been causing illusions. Let's get into this. Let's get into the nitty gritty. This man has been causing illusions, invading your privacy and things like that. This is the king of swords that's doing this. I think this person thought that I don't know if he was going to do all cause all of this mayhem and then come in and give someone a love offer. There are two king of swords I'm seeing in here, but there's one specifically that's very manipulative and very controlling. Someone is determined to get their way, but they are being shut down by the universe. He thought he was going to come in cause all this manipulation, delusional, uh, take all these delusional actions to block you. Interfere with some type of connection. I don't know if he's friends with someone in the background that's interested in you. And the person does not understand why it's so hard to get in contact with you, to be around you. That's because this man is causing blockages. That's because this king of swords is causing blockages. Okay? Someone does not understand what the problem is. He said, I don't understand why it's so hard to get next to this person. Oh, yeah, that's because you got someone right there causing blockages. He wants to be chosen. He wants to have some type of control of a feminine energy. Someone has a problem with how you see the world, how you view the world, the things you believe in. Someone thinks they're religious, okay? There are two people in here. One is very religious, but going through some type of ascension willingly. And there's another one that has some type of religious belief, and he's just not trying to make anything make sense to him. He said, no, I don't like that. That's not how it goes. And it's not working. Okay? So he thought he was going to cause you all these blockages, interfere with your independence, by the way. Cause you to lose your resources, your stabilities, and things like that. Cause you heartbreak. I'm telling you, this man has been busy behind the scene in someone's life. Cause you heartbreak. Prevent you from healing. Okay? If, you, if you're a healer, he don't want you healing. He wants you stuck. Why does he want you stuck? So he can come in and give you 
some type of childish offer and you're going to take it and what? What, what, then what happens, sir? That's what we want to know. Then what happens? Okay. You come in and you give this childish offer full of illusions and things like that. What happens? What happens? Nothing but a tower. Nothing but a tower. Because it's not genuine. It's not genuine. He wants to give you a love offer so no one else can. So someone else cannot give you a love offer. I'm telling you. This is what this man wants to do. He wants to trap you, control you. Prevent you from moving around. Someone is a cold-blooded narcissist. And he's losing a lot behind the scenes, by the way, for, for coming for you. Oh, honey, it ain't easy for him like that. No, 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 no. He's taking it personal. He don't understand why he cannot come and destroy your life once and for all. He's done everything else. He's manipulated everybody else, right? So he feels like... After everything he's done, he should be able to come in, give you this false offer just to trap you so he can control you for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah, this is something he's planning on doing for the rest of your life. He said, for the rest of your life, you'll be under my control. You can't speak nothing about spirituality. You can't have no friends. No one's going to like you. I'm going to tell them that you are uh, incompetent and the ancestors said you are under judgment you are trying us more ways than you should be trying us you should never try us look at that light flickering look at that light flickering someone is under judgment and behind me honey i don't know what's going on it's flickering on screen but behind me it ain't flickering back here something is going on something supernatural is happening to this person behind the scenes and they can't make sense of it. Someone considers themselves to be a practitioner. You're under judgment. This is why you don't understand it. Someone does not understand magic, <clears throat> spirituality like they think they do. They're still going back and forth in their mind. What the heck is going on? Why can't I destroy this person? He collaborated with a group of people to take you down. And they don't understand how they're not able to take you down. Why? Why? Why can't I take them down? Oh, that's because this is an empress. You're toxic as heck. You have a whole lot of mas whole nother master behind the scenes. Someone hired this man to take you down. It went from being hired to him taking it personal. Okay? To him taking it personal. Someone's coming in with the truth, though. Oh, they're coming in with the truth. Someone will effed up and develop feelings for you. After they've tried to destroy you and their feelings are not reciprocated. And again, there are two kings of swords I'm seeing. One is going through the change. But this one here I'm seeing, no, 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 no. This is not him. This is the one going through a rude awakening. This is the one going through a rude awakening. He is absolutely going through a tower. Whatever tower this group is going through. Whatever tower they're going through, they're blaming you for it. Not that you had anything to do with it. You were minding your business. You were minding your business. What does that lovely sister say on her platform? Uh, Miss Intuitive Goddess 333 Bella. She says, I'm minding your business and drinking your water. You were minding your business and drinking your water, just like she says. And here they come, trying to destroy your life. Trying to destroy your life. Trying to cause you burdens, okay? Trying to cause you burdens. And through all of the burdens they were causing you, you stayed the course, you mind your business. You kept your mind on positive things. Every time you see the sun car, you, there goes the light flickering again. The ancestors are in agreement. Every time you see this car, remember your ancestors, the spirit realm, are telling you to keep your mind on positive thoughts. Because they are taking care of your enemies behind the scenes. Taking care of them. They're forced to walk away. Okay. There are people in here. Someone in this group is experiencing some type of loss. They just don't even know how to verbalize. Someone's very angry behind the scenes. They're watching you. Trying to come up with a new way to approach you. Or a new way to take you down. How can I travel to this person and cause them mayhem? Okay. Someone does not understand how you are so protected. They should have read the fine print before coming after you. They should have read the fine print before coming after you. Okay? 
should have, I'm telling you, they should have read the fine print before coming after you. Someone don't travel far and far. Far, far, far away. Some of these people that leave their homes to go sit down in isolated areas to do their rituals and things like that. The rituals aren't working. They've invaded your whole life just to get their way. And the source has rejected them. These are people into spell work. This one especially. Okay. This one especially. And everything he's been doing has been rejected. Anything this group has been doing has been rejected. Or rituals, spell works, incantations, whatever they want to call it. It's all rejected. Past, present, and future. Past, present, and future. Illusions is what you all are living under. You martyr yourself for coming after who you came after. And that's why you're living in fear and anxiety. Trying to come in with a Knight of Cups offer. because Knight of Pentacles offer, excuse me. Because you know you don't f up with someone's livelihood. And in return of doing that, you f up your own livelihood. Return to sender. Return to sender. I said return to sender. And a queen of wands came out. This man was working with a queen of wands. A queen of cups as well. A queen of pentacles. Oh, honey, it's been a whole community. Thank you. It's been a whole community coming after you. And they're losing it behind the scenes. They're arguing. They don't understand how they're not able to trap you. Because you're not meant to be trapped. This is you. Like myself here. This is you. This will always be you. They're trying to figure out if someone is helping you behind the scenes. Honey, it's the most high. The, the source, I mean the, the tower, is the act of the most high. The tower is an act of the most high. It's unexpected. It's all of a sudden. It just happened. The Tower of Babel just falling. Yeah. Because the people thought, what? They knew it all. They were going to go and see what God was up to. And they were going to be more powerful than God. And God was up there watching them build their tower higher and higher and higher. And they're like, we're going to make it up to God. And we're going to see what God is doing up there. We know more than God. What did they tell them not to build their tower? And they still built the tower, right? They still built the tower. And someone told them, hey, don't do that. They still went for your enemies. They went, still went and invested in your ending. But God was up there watching them investing in that, building that tower, building that tower. He said, I'm just going to wait for the right moment to strike it down. Well, the right moment don't come. It came already. It's here. Is here and they're falling, but he now, oh, yeah, they're falling, and he now wants to come in and have some type of victory with you. It's not so, sir. It's not so. Someone has done too much damage, yeah. Someone has done too much damage, they've done too much damage through manipulation. Someone caused a whole lot of manipulations behind the scenes. And now that every last manipulation, every last action he took against you has backfired horribly. That's why he wants to come in and give you an offer. And he's hoping you won't see what he's coming to you to do. You see this person a mile away and he, they're rejected. I'm telling you, sir, stay where you are. Stay where you are. Someone is with some type of gold digger in this community. Right? This is a family that you have been well of. And now they're going through an ending. Oh, yeah. They're going through an ending. They went from having joy and laughter at taking actions to destroy you. Now what? Look at them. Down. The whole family. The whole family is living in misery. They're living in misery. Shit. Someone in here could be turning their back on the whole family to go and start life over. Yeah. Turning his back on them. Cutting his... Listen. <sighs> it's like everything I say is just being confirmed. This man is turning his back on these people. Cutting his laws to go start over new. He's going somewhere else. Waiting for his ships to sail. He's going somewhere else. 
he's not wanting to be part of this mess anymore. There's something where a masculine is part of a community that participates in some type of, I don't know if it's a ritual, a religion, religion, um, and he just does not believe in it. It's not for him. He wants to go somewhere else. This is a whole different person, by the way. He wants to go somewhere else. Someone is a free thinker, but he was raised in a certain way. And it just does not work for him. It doesn't make sense. Two and two is not adding up for him. And he's always been that way, but he's learned how to put up a facade most of his life and just go along with it. But there's some type of awakening going on in someone. And he said, no, nah, I can't do this anymore. I can't pretend to be this anymore. It's not fulfilling. I'm not happy. If this is like a dark uh, organization, he doesn't want to be in that anymore. I'm telling you, this man here is going elsewhere. He's taking his offer somewhere else. Whatever it is, oh, this came out sideways. It jumped out. There's an empress in the reverse going through some type of heartbreak. I don't know if this is a wife energy that was determined to take someone down. All her secrets are out of what she was trying to do. Steal from someone. Someone was trying to hold on to what belongs to another person. Take what belongs to another person. So she's a common thief. A criminal, basically. She's a common thief. This woman was trying to take what belongs to another person. This could be someone that's into some type of magic as far as confusion. She knows how to play people like her puppet, like an instrument. People are nothing but like uh, chess pieces to her. She moved them, moved them around. Hey, go do that. You go do that. You do this. You do that. Okay. There's a masculine that's married to one of these kind of women as well. And he don't want to do anything with that anymore. He don't want to be part of the rituals. He don't want to be part of the, uh, the pretending. He's not fulfilled. He wants to move on. She said, no, you got to stay with me. I know you're not happy, but I don't care. I'll be damned if you're, if you're going to leave me and end up happy without me. Well, if he's not happy with you, I think he's supposed to be happy without you, ma'am. She can't. She, she doesn't want to live in a world where there's taking, that's taking place. Oh, honey, I said it. He's going to be happy without you. Without you. Okay. So you can cause all the illusions you want, pay people all the money you want to cause stagnation. That man is still going to be happy without you. This is your energy 24-7. And he sees it. He sees it. I don't know who the heck these people are. Every freaking time I come here to do my videos, they're coming up. They're showing up. I, I, I You know, I be sitting down just up, staying in my lane calling my ancestors to get clarity and things like that. And they answer always. And then here comes the foolery. The foolery. For someone out there, there's, a, there's an emperor that wants to give to you. There's an emperor going through a change behind the scenes. An absolute change. Yeah, he's going through a change. Someone's perspective has changed. So this is possibly the one I'm talking about that's going through some type of ascension behind the scenes. His family does some type of practice that he does not want to be a part of anymore. And he has a fresh start, a fresh perspective, excuse me, on life. Because he knows whatever they are into with this moon out here, it's not what it is. It's not adding up. Okay. All the rituals, they're not ritually anymore. So he's moving on. The secrets are out. And someone is glad the secrets are out. It could be that man, that emperor. Glad, oh yeah, honey, he's glad the secrets are out. But these friends, not happy about that. They're not happy about that. They're not happy that someone wants to come towards you and work with you. This whole community it said they were celebrating, yay, and then what happened? Wah, 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 with the fourth cups, because what? Someone is still coming in to make you an offer 
you are still protected. Whatever is yours is being heavily guarded by your ancestors. And someone is coming in to tell the truth, to clear things up. Or someone already has clarity about what has been taking place behind the scenes. So you have an offer coming in that is exactly or directly from the Most High. A new offer, a new beginning. Clarity, wisdom. Leading to your victory. They don't know what to do with themselves. Okay? Everything that was hidden before is out in the open. An uh, empress in the reverse is being seen for exactly who she is. Nothing but a low vibrational energy. Out here pretending to be something she's not. May just be showing up in empress energy because she's somebody's ex-wife, somebody's wife, somebody's mother in the situation. She's going through some type of heartbreak. I want to see what heartbreak this woman is going through. Going possibly going through some type of legalities. Someone may have lost someone. <clears throat> okay. Mm. The community is trying. Oh yeah, the community is trying to trap, or she's trying to trap a king of wands. With oh baby. She's trying to trap a king of wands with her in a toxic union. She don't want to let go. You see how she's in the reverse and he's in the upright. He don't want to be with her. He does not want to be with her. He's letting go. She wants to trap him. She's playing mind games. Oh, yeah. She's playing mind games with him. Maybe even planning to end this masculine just for thinking of leaving to go be with someone else. What is that? The, I bet you that's the night of, night of wands. I bet you, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> She's trying to trap this man from leaving. <clears throat> because if he leaves, he gets to have a brand new passionate beginning, new life, full of hope, full of love, full of light. She don't want that. So she may be trying to cause him an ending. She's already tried to end you, collective member. She's not able to. Whether you're a man or a woman, this person is coming to worse. <clears throat> Excuse me, I mean, adjusting myself. Okay? So they're trying to trap him, playing mind games with him. <clears throat> and this is how these kind of people do. Every time you want to take action to go into the right direction of your life, they come causing deceit, feeding you deceit because they want to control you. They're playing mental tricks with this man. They're playing mental tricks with a masculine. And I don't care if it's a king of wands or someone else. They're playing mental tricks with him. They keep, keep him in his mind, second guessing himself. And someone in that king of wands energy may have legal issues coming in too. Took some type of action against you behind the scenes. But whoever they're playing mental games with, he sees you as wish fulfillment. Has a lot of feelings for you. And he's letting these suckers go. He's leaving them out in the cold. The truth has been illuminated to him. He's like, I'm out of here. You clowns will always be your clowns. And they're trying to hold on to him. Trying to stick to him like white on rice. They said, uh-uh, uh-uh, we got to hold on to him. But he knows the truth. He knows the truth. He knows the truth about the whole family, the whole relationship. Okay? He knows the truth. This group here, they, let, let, listen. This collaboration is over. It's going nowhere. It's being dismantled. Okay? It's, it's, it's over. They're not doing too good. They're all going through endings. Listen, they're all going through endings. Everybody's true character is being exposed and seen for what it is. The Queen of Cups going through an ending, going through some type of betrayal. It's a Queen of Cups in the reverse, by the way. Going through it. It's the whole family, the whole community. It's not just one person. This is the kind of situation where now they all have to introspect. This is the kind of situation where people, they're doing something and you're warning them time and time again, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't take that action. You don't want to do that time and time again. Even your own ancestors were probably telling them, don't do that. 
the universe done I don't know how many times someone had to tell them don't do that but they went ahead and did it anyways why did they do it anyways collective they felt entitled they said oh we got money we got numbers we're going to keep causing blockages and hindrances in your life we're going to keep lying on you blah 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 and the universe told them don't do that it's not going to work in your favor don't do that you're barking up the wrong tree you need to take a different path Think about what you're doing. You better think. You better think. They didn't think. And now they're all going through endings. And these two people are what? Still coming together. Two higher level soulmates are still coming together. So what was the reason for you all doing all this madness? Everything is being looked into. Someone has found confidence behind the scenes. Someone has found confidence behind the scenes. What I'm hearing is that there's a masculine that used, used to deal with confidence issues and people knew that and they played with his mental. The eight of swords above that king of wands. Yeah. They played with someone's mental for a long time. Had him second guessing himself. Someone's always trapped in their mind. What do they think of me? What are they going to think if I do this? I probably shouldn't do that. She's not going to like this. He's not going to like that. They said we can't talk to them. They're not like us, so we can't communicate with them. We can't associate with them. What do they think about what I have on? I have to look the best. I have to put on more perfume. I got to do this. I got to do that. The heck is, that's a full-time job. How do you live like that? That's a full-time job. How do you live like that? That's something we do when we're younger. I used to be the same way, worried about how people, uh, what people thought of me. Honey, I don't give two hits. I don't. That's why I get on here every day and post my content. While I know people are trying to delete it, people are trying to do something to it. I have people tr uh, logging into my phone now. And I sit back and I watch them. When I can block something, I block it. People tr uh, turning on my hotspot to access my phone. All kinds of stuff. So w what are you doing all this for? What do you think you're going to accomplish? People logging me out of accounts. Oh, honey, if I told you all half of the stuff people are doing, you wouldn't believe it. And some of them, after they're done watching it, they get on online to watch my videos. Not knowing that I can see them while they're watching it. You got to see me physically or on camera to know what I'm doing. I don't got to do all of that. I can see you when you click that, that video of mine to watch my content. I can see you. I have some that will hop off real quick. If I say I'm going to watch my video while it's premiering, oh, they'll hop off real quick because they're mirroring my phone. They're mirroring my phone so they know what I'm watching. So when I log on to watch my video, they hop off. They don't, they don't want me to pick up on their energy. It's too late, buddy. It's too late. You left your print. You left your print already. Because you know what, honey? The page you're on, that's my realm. So you're stepping into my realm, literally and figuratively. You are literally stepping into my house and then thinking that I'm not going to know you're there. You're in my house. Make it make sense. They've been playing with this man mental for a long time. They created themselves a narcissist. They themselves are narcissists. These people are determined to destroy you and defeat you, but they're already defeated. That's why they're not able to move forward because these are the predicaments they're finding themselves in. Someone's possibly homeless out here or about to be homeless. And with all these calamities taking place, what? Well, they're still focused on you. Still focused on you. They're under judgment and they're still focused on you. Okay? Still focused on you. Because the narcissism in them is not letting go. They don't want two people coming together. But what is this, honey? Two people meeting up. You're going to meet your higher level soulmate. Look at that. Look at that. Okay? The both of you getting to, uh, coming together is your justice. Is your justice. 
there is a court case going on that some of you may not be aware of and all the clues have been put together. It's been like blues clues for these people in the court system trying to figure something out. And there's a court official being exposed to, oh my goodness, someone has been accepting bribery behind the scenes to pretend like he or she didn't know something was going on or something didn't happen. They didn't see something. They saw it. They're exposed with this moon out here, the four of pentacles followed by the freaking moon and the justice card. Someone was out here pretending they didn't know something was taking place and the secrets are out. Someone in the court, someone in the legal system is exposed. I don't know how long you thought you were going to get away with this. They either assisted someone with stealing an asset, blocking someone, or making sure that a court case goes in someone's favor when they should have never gone in their favor. And this judge, whoever this is in the court system, is nothing but a thief. And he's going through burdens behind the scenes for helping someone steal something or pretend like they didn't, oh, I'm telling you, he's under judgment. She's under judgment. Whoever this judge is, look at that. A judge under judgment. Will you look at that? The irony of it all. For stealing. Forgery. You committed a crime. You assisted someone in forging a signature. You assisted someone in stealing or trying to steal something that did not belong to them. And you're, you're exposed. I don't know how long you thought this was going to go on. I'm telling you, and the judgment card is out again. He's under judgment. She's under judgment. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Every, oh, baby. Under judgment. Every secret, every action, everything you did. Exposed. This judge is going through some type of rude awakening. Humbling experience. This is not his first time doing this or her first time doing this this is the universe taking action i told you the tower is an act of god your ancestors the heavenly host they've called judgment on a whole community and everyone they were networking with and guess what someone has been hiring people behind the scenes to do something here protection someone has been hiring people to do something and in this court case, as time goes on, every person you hired is going to turn against you and advocate for the person you were coming after. Every person. They don't have an a, a, a option, a choice. Because everything they've been doing, they've been being monitored. All of them are under burdens. They're going to have to tell the truth. Every time they told a lie, every time they bully someone, every time they stole someone, stole from someone, whatever they did, made a phone call to tell a lie, sent a message to tell a lie, anything they did, you all created some type of online community as well, just to further something even more. And the whole time you have been being monitored, this court case is not going in your you all's favor, by the way. All the confusion and everything about a queen of cups in the reverse pretending to be something she's not. It's, honey, everything, everyone is exposed. Oh, the burdens, the burdens, the burdens. The burdens. Why would you go through all this trouble to bring burdens on yourself? And then while you are going through burdens... Still want to go be doing rituals to block people's mental. Why are my ancestors so on it? They don't want someone to be sharp. They are doing, doing rituals to block someone's mental. They say we don't want you seeing what it is you see. You see too much. You know too much. Aren't you burdened by knowing all, everything you know? You know the truth. Aren't you burdened by that? No, we're not. We're not. The most high deemed that it was necessary for us to know the truth and to see what it is that we see. Past, present, future, I'm telling you. 
We are ordained to see the things we see, past, present, and future. We have that kind of clearance to see what we see. Okay? So they're burdened by your vision. There's a high priestess among these people going through poverty for working with them knowingly. She worked with them knowingly. That's the thing. She worked with them knowingly. There is a high priestess going through an ending because she knowingly worked with a karmic community, a toxic group of people to take someone down, to lie, to steal, to destroy. Some of you have family members that are out here going up against you with total strangers total strangers all for fine fine things luxury money they've been paid hefty a hefty amount each person to farter a narrative and now all the secrets are out say so, oh this is not this person's signature they didn't sign this document oh this person is not incompetent you told us they were mentally unstable apparently you're the one who's mentally unstable there's a couple going through an ending behind the scenes. There's a couple going through an ending behind the scenes. You could have people, oh, they're under judgment, honey. You could have people now wanting to apologize to you. And because some of you don't care to hear the apology because it don't mean nothing to you because you know the people it's coming from don't care really what it is they did to you. They're upset because you don't want an apology. You're not looking for closure. They said, why don't you want my closure? Oh, because we know the truth. We always knew the truth. You're the one that was pretending. You need to go apologize to yourself. And the one you want to give us, you can take and stick it up where the sun does not shine. We don't care. We don't care. You got false rel religious people in here going through endings. People from your past wanting to come in and talk with you they can't find you can reach you they're burdened because they know what's coming for them they know what i'm telling you it's nothing but chaos behind the scenes people depleted their, their bank accounts trying to destroy yours trying to steal from you there was a plot to take from someone's bank account said just give just give me their account information and i'll take care of the rest someone told them no they said, no, I, I'm not doing that. This is what these people do. You work one job with them, they'll leave that job, follow you to your next job to cause mayhem for you. They're nothing but criminals. This is how they operate. You're not the first one they're doing this to. You're just the last one because they're under judgment. A whole community is under judgment for blocking some type of collaboration between two people this is why they came after you because they didn't want you and someone coming together. They don't want you having wish fulfillment. They don't want you being loved genuinely. They don't want none of that. They want you to keep waiting for the rest of your life, never being loved by anyone, being rejected most of your life, sitting there and waiting for your shifts to come in for the rest of your life, knowing damn well that's not what you deserve, but this is the energy they're in because a king of pentacles has decided to close a chapter, they are defeated. They are defeated. They can't trap this man anymore. They fail at, have, at being able to trap him. So he's leaving to take his offer elsewhere. Fast. He's out. Okay? He made that decision and he said it's final. He made the, This man made a decision in love. He said, I choose them. I choose the earth angel. Look at that. Because he sees things from a higher perspective now. Didn't I say he was leaving? Okay. Someone is going through some type of healing behind the scenes. Okay. They're looking into things. Is it not? We got to review this. They were trying to hide you and the man found you. <laughs> This is how deep the love goes. They were trying to hide you and the man found you. He said, wait, 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 wait. I see her. There goes my empress. I see her. They told me she, she was out. They told me she was no longer here. They told me she was uh, broadcasted, disgusted, rejected. She's out here 
happy as always. Every time I see her, she's happy. There she go right there. There she goes. There she goes. That man said, there she goes. I see her. You told me she, you told me she wasn't doing well. You told me she was sick and dying. And they're not happy because he sees you. Look at that. They told this man you were down and out on your luck. Nothing was going in your favor, and here he comes. He said, ba -ba -ba boom, 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 boom. I'm out of here. I see my empress. I got to go connect with my empress. <laughs> they lied to this man so much. He, must, he may have settled for some type of mediocre connection. He said, well, I guess if I can't have my empress. They told me she was gone. They told me she was on a lot or... She hated me. She didn't want to communicate with me. They told me she was in a relationship. So I guess I had to settle for this one here. Uh-uh. Sora said, no, 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 no. We didn't tell you your empress was not here no more. We didn't tell you your empress was sick. We didn't tell you your empress was in a relationship. Your empress out here single. But living their best life. Living her best life. He said, oh, uh oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see. I'm out, folks. I'm out. <laughs> You know, we got to add a little bit of humor. That man said, I'm out. What is it? Now, what did me this? What did me this? He, he, he got right on his knees to tell the universe, oh, universe, if you let me get access to this woman again, I promise you, today, tomorrow, the day after, past, present, I will never fuck up again. Please. <laughs> And they said, uh-uh, he, now he can't stop watching you wherever you are. <laughs> Whether he's watching you from afar at your, home, at your house trying to find a way to approach you so you don't get scared or get nervous, call the police or something on him. Whether he's watching you online, but honey, that brother is watching you. He's watching you. He said, there goes my empress. There she goes. There's the woman that brings me joy. <laughs> so he's thinking, trying to figure out how to approach you. He said, how do I go to this woman? Yeah, 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 yeah. How do I communicate with this woman? Trying to send you emails. This man's been trying to communicate with you for a long time. And these people keep blocking it. Keep blocking it. He sends an email, they block it. Sends an email, they block it. Communications, everything. Some of you don't change your phone numbers. He don't know your phone number is changed and he's still trying to text you, call you at the old number. And you're like, uh, yeah, you're not going to get in contact with your empress that way. They don't have that number anymore. There's something like that going on for some of you. Just know your emperor sees you. <laughs> he's been looking for you. But someone, for some of you, he's feeling trapped in something. He's feeling trapped. They caused a lot of deceit to this man. So he may have left this connection out in the cold is what I'm hearing. They caused a lot of deceit. They told him you were in a relationship. You may have had people stalking you, trying to catch you with another masculine. I'm telling you. They caused a lot of deceit. They were telling a lot of lies. And he may have ended up getting into some type of toxic union with a Jizzy Bell energy that he's trying to get away from. I don't know if there's a woman out here having one night stands and things like that, whatever this is. Uh, her pack pack is just available for the public. She walks around with a public announcement. Hello, world. This pack pack is available at any time, any place, if you would like some of it. So he's leaving her out in the cold. He thought he was with a modest woman. Finding out it's a, it's nothing but heartbreak. Nothing but heartbreak. That man's been in the heartbreak motel for a long time. He said, I don't feel fulfilled with this woman. I feel trapped with her. I'm not happy. She doesn't bring the better side out of me. I'm having a hard time manifesting. Okay? She's out here paying people to do all kinds of stupid stuff. There's a woman that pays someone to have another energy put out in the cold. And she effed around and found out who she was coming after was heavily protected. You are under 24-7 surveillance by the Most High, by the universe. This woman is nothing but a karmic. 
lies, 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 and lies. Nothing that comes out of this woman's mouth is legit. She's going through her ending, some type of betrayal for causing blockages, deceiving someone, telling lies, 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 and more lies. Taking actions to, oh my gosh, some of them pay someone or people a whole lot of money behind the scenes. Okay, someone could have gotten family, in, I said family involved, and this came out sideways. So this community, this relationship that he's in with her is not fulfilling. I'm telling you, it's not fulfilling. The community is upside down. They're not happy. This is what they manifested for themselves. Lack of joy, nothing. Okay. They've messed up, honey, they messed up their foundation. They messed up their foundation. I'm trying, I mean, it came out sideways. I don't like putting my car sideways, but honey, it is what it is. I don't like putting my car sideways. But they caused a lot of loss for themselves, trying to cause you all a loss. And the whole time you were protected and they're under nothing but burdens. Complicated their own past for no reason, thinking they were complicating yours. And they got to move on. Move on move on mm -hmm. so someone is taking action honey to, 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 to balance it out is the queen of i don't know who this empress is it has to be this person's wife or ex-wife because there is no way someone's mother would be this invested in blocking her son from receiving love unless it's one of those mothers that has some type of odd obsession with her child those kind of relationships always eer me out. It's, it's eerie as heck. They said, why are you that invested in your son's love life? Are you wanting to sleep with him? Are you into incest and things like that? Because there ain't no way a mother should be disinvested in her son's love life. This could be the, the situation where the, 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 the mother has groomed the son to be her puppet. All she does is manipulate him. And maybe he's waking up now to it. There could be a wife character in here that does a lot of manipulation. Has been paying people behind the scenes to cause blockages and things like that. People may not even be uh, accepting donations from this woman anymore. To cause blockages. Because someone is moving on. They're going to, These people are going through too many endings behind the scenes to keep, to keep this up. There are narcissists in here that want to keep going because this is something where you have people from all directions, north, south, east, and west, coming after two people. Coming after two people. And they all have their own reasons why they don't want two people together. Okay? Why they don't want two people together. Baby. Baby. It, listen, they're out here paying people to lie. I'm telling you this justice, oh baby. Uh -huh. All the lies, I told you all. There's a court official being exposed as a liar. Oh, they didn't see this coming. That's how the most high works. They didn't see this coming, okay? They didn't see this coming. All their secrets are exposed. They are nothing but a liar. They cause deceit. Someone has been lying in the court system for a long time, falsifying cases, something, everything, all the work he or she has been involved in, <laughs> they're, they're about to be audited. There's a judge that's about to be audited, and they are burdened behind the scenes. There's someone in the court system, very high up, that's about to be audited because they took some type of action to cause a burden for someone, make someone's path difficult. If you had some type of asset that you were supposed to receive, they help a group of people, a community, to block you from receiving that asset and their whole life is about to be audited who yeah 
Someone has been exposed for collaborating with a toxic group, toxic couple, whatever this is. Oh, um, baby. They are being audited. They are being audited. And things are just acting out naturally. You took your hands out of it just like the, your ancestors told you. They said, back off. Let us handle it. Oh, baby, and are they handling it? It is Russian roulette out here with these people. They don't know what's going to happen every day they wake up. What am I going to lose now? Who's going to die? They don't know. They don't know. These kind of people, they never know what other people have been through to get to where they are. But they'll make it their mission to destroy you, block you. All because of envy, jealousy, animosity, greed. Okay? People come in and make them false offer as a judge. How is someone able to buy you? How much do they offer you? 500000 A million? That's what you're worth overall? That's all you're worth? Someone forced to help people falsify a document in court. And he's trapped with these people now. Oh, sir, you best believe. I don't know if he was helping a queen of wands. Whoever you were helping, a couple, the truth is out. Oh, a whole community. He was helping a whole community do this. And they were celebrating. Celebration. It's all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lying about someone's work. I'm telling you, everybody is under judgment. Everybody. Everybody is under judgment. Everyone that accepted bribery. Everyone that participated. Interfering with someone's work. Lying about someone's work. This is what's up ahead for the person you were lying about. They will still be successful. They've lied and lied and lied and lied and lied. They've li they lied. The court system has foresight of everything that has been going on. The truth is out and there's nothing these people can do. All that's going to happen is this. Poverty is the road that lies ahead of you all. Destruction is the road that lies ahead of you all. Bitterness, anger, like death is the road that lies ahead for many imprisonment endings the roads that lie ahead lies ahead for all of you you sealed your own fits you sealed your own fits the court system has knowledge of everything you all were doing every burden you caused Every lie you told, every action you told, and it has you all living in fear. You know how Scar said it, fear. Okay? For the actions you took against a uh, soul connection, twin flame connection, and a healer. Look at that. You didn't want two people coming together. But they're still coming together. They're going to be working together successfully. Someone is passing away in this community or someone already passed away in this community. Okay. There's a, there's a empress. This empress is going through heartbreak behind the scenes. She's living in fear at the same time. She did something she wasn't supposed to do. Was paying people to do something, bribing people. Oh, to interfere with the love of her. And she never thought it would come out. Oh, it's how out, honey. People know. People know. People know. We already know what you did, girlfriend. Someone wanted to. There's something where it's like they wanted uh, a star seed out here, a light worker, seeking validation from other people. Those, those, listen, listen, Linda, Linda, listen, listen, Linda, you're not listening. You haven't been listening the entire time because you all keep showing up in the, these readings. And I keep telling you time and time and time again, listen, Linda, Linda, listen. You still want listening. Star seeds, they don't need validations from outside forces. That's why you always see them alone. They choose to be that way. 
They don't need validation because they already know that they are enough. The universe already told them you are enough. So they don't seek validation from anyone. Not a goddamn person. Because they already know who they are. You don't know who you are. There's some type of delusion or illusion you all live under, you dark workers. Because you think if someone did something, it will make you feel a certain way. You think that if you did that to someone else, it will make them feel a certain way. So if you get a masculine to reject the feminine energy, it will break you. But a star see, that's them. How they see that? Let me let me tell you how they see that. How how we see that? If a masculine rejects us, we see that as our ancestors or the universe telling us that we have no business being with that person. They may be in this energy, but what? <laughs> this is them naturally. This is who they truly are. So them rejecting us is a blessing. We always see rejection as protection. Okay, so deep down, you see things on a surface level. We see things at the core, beneath the surface. What's going on? That's what we look at. So when you see someone miss reverse, this is what you see. Okay, this is what you see. But what we see then, this is what we see. We see what they're showing us, but what's underneath the surface. What's underneath there. So you have... A lack of foresight. You're blind. That's why you take stupid actions. Like taking money to bribe people. That's why you take stupid action. That partnering up with the whole community. To make something go in your favor. That's why you take actions to do rituals and things like that. And then they don't work. Because the whole time you're causing stagnation. Because someone wants to give a feminine energy love offer. You don't see the full truth. We see the full truth. We re we already see the future. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> Isn't that funny? To be coming after someone, I'm telling you, we know. We always know. These are beings that already know. We intuitively know. We spiritually know. We see things at the core. You see things on a superficial level. Okay. Like people like you, let's say you see a rainbow, you see the colors. And if you're religious, you may go with that story of how God made a promise that he'll never flood the earth again. Meanwhile, the earth is being flooded back to back. So I don't know how that story sticks. However, when we see the rainbow, we see something else. Soul's ascension, a journey, a promise. Made to us by source that we are on the right path and we will be rewarded. Those are the kinds of things we see. You just see colors. Okay? I'm telling you. <laughs> We're on the right path. As soon as I said that this car fell out. Right track. So we are on the right path. When we see that rainbow, we see that light. You don't have that access, that clearance. That's why you're vain enough to think that you can partner up with people to end someone but you don't understand how you can cause you can do all this bribery pay all this money and not succeed and still be seen for who you are nothing but a liar nothing but a thief trying to steal from someone you are out here talking about i got the power power if your power consists of you paying to make something go your way you don't got no power you're delusional it says right track. You are going in the right direction. So just keep moving forward. Steady progress. Hallelujah to our ancestors in the universe for confirming everything we say. Everything we dream, they are always confirming. Okay? We are the dreamer that dreams the dream. I am the dreamer that dreams the dream. And there are people in my dream trying to control the dream. Ain't that funny? That's how you all should be seeing that. You are the dreamer that dreams the dream. Meaning you are in charge. This reality that you are in, you create it. So someone else is leaving their reality and coming into your... You created this realm basically. And someone is leaving their realm to come into your realm to run things. 
I am the dreamer that dreams the dream in this realm. So I'm in charge. That's that's what you're being told, basically, collective. You are the dreamer that dreams the dream. Okay? Thank you for watching, folks. i see you in my next read. Uh, goodbye for now.